Oh boy, we got some more bad news regarding Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Let's get into it. What's your favorite scary movie? Everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we're talking about uh, Jeepers Creepers Reborn, some not so great news about it. Uh, before we get into that though, I'm going to need y'all to like this video and subscribe for more horror content and more horror movie updates. I would greatly appreciate it. It would make my heart very warm. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Is, is, is your heart overheating a bad thing? I don't know. Let, that's, that might be a bad thing, actually. Now, getting into this, I want to thank another YouTuber out there, Critical Overlord, who did some amazing research when it comes to diving into Screen Media's legal history with, uh, wow, some not-so-good things. This company's been doing some some not-so-wonderful so, not so things over the past, like, 10 or so years. So, to go over this, and let me uh, put my glasses on because we have to get into some legal stuff, legal businessy things, which is why I'm dressed up all nice today. Uh, Screen Media is in some deep legal ish for violating domestic and international distribution agreements with First American Cinema, according to a November 7th of 2019 lawsuit concerning the movie The Amazing Wizard of Paws. And if you're going to get into legal trouble over any movie, it might as well be that one. <laughs> I mean, my God. Let me just throw the poster up of this movie real quick. If this isn't a Harry Potter dog movie ripoff, I don't know what is. Oh my God. This just looks like, this, this looks like they just threw this thing out to make make some money, if I'm going to be honest. I hate to be an assumptionist, but that's just what this this comes off as to me. I've never seen it before, but come on. Look at that. Look at that and tell me it's not a, just a ripoff of Harry Potter with a dog that's probably a wizard. But basically, if you have no idea what the hell I just said, because I'm going to be honest, I barely even know what I just said. Basically, they illegally profited off of the like the distribution and selling of this movie on VOD platforms. And they've done this before with multiple other movies. This is not the first time Screen Media has done this. Now, it begs the question, are they just making Jeepers Creepers Reborn to possibly pay off some of these like lawsuit lawsuit issues they, that they've had in the past? Another thing I want to say is this is not the first time this has happened. There's There are lawsuits that go all the way back to 2013 with this specific company that just show that they've been doing some shady stuff for a long time, which really sucks. I, I'm really not a fan of this. And like I said, they might be trying to just make this movie to settle lawsuits with the revenue from Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I really hope that's not the case. I really hope they haven't just pumped something out to possibly make a profit off of it so that they can pay off some of these people who are like, hey, you illegally profited from that. Give us money, which is like totally fair for them to say, accusing screen media of something that they very clearly have done with uh, a lot of these uh, weird like off brand kind of movies. It just sucks. I think the whole thing sucks. I could see this franchise having a future past Victor Salva. Like if you were like, un unfortunately, you'd probably, which Screen Media has probably done, bought the rights, fr bought the IP rights from Victor Salva, and then to move forward with the franchise in a way that doesn't allow a child predator to profit off of it. That would be the best case scenario here, I think. Now, the weird thing about this, and why it's kind of tough for me to just assume that about this movie, like possibly being like their cash cow, like they're like, oh, we're gonna put this out, and make a bunch of money, is Screen Media also distributed the last Jeepers Creepers film, which was a total box office failure. I don't think it was in theaters for too long, but even with VO, even after the VOD release, the movie only made like $4 million off of a $6 million budget, which is not good. So the fact that they're even making this movie is shocking at first and foremost, but then like, why would like, are they relying on this movie to make them a bunch of money? I don't, I don't think that could be the case. That movie bombed though, because Victor Salva was attached to it. He was the director and profited off of it, which is disgusting. And that totally fucked and sucks. This movie is kind of once again getting that rap, unfortunately, because they'd have to buy the IP from Victor Salva to make this movie. The, the, unless maybe this court case going on is Victor Salva trying to like sue them and trying to be like, hey, you can't make a movie off of my IP. So I, I don't know. The whole thing just sounds like a fucking disaster, if you had to ask me. I, I just wanted I just want a good Jeepers Creepers movie that has nothing to do with Victor Salva. That's all I want. That's all I want is, as, a, as a fan of these movies. That's, that's the big thing moving forward with the franchise. I could see it happening, but it just kind of seems like this is going to be like a Hellraiser situation where it's like you just keep pumping out these straight to VOD kind of movies, straight to on demand 
films that just are, you know, have the title in it. That's that's why they make money, unfortunately. They're not because they're great movies. I hope that's not the case here, but it's really hard to not assume that in this situ in this current situation. But what do you guys think? Are you are you still excited for Jeepers Creepers Reborn? Is like all this behind the scenes stuff just kind of whack to you? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this new Jeepers Creepers Reborn update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror movie updates. Also, if you want to support this channel further, please join my channel memberships or support me on Patreon. It's exactly the same thing, so don't feel compelled to, to, to do both. Uh, thank you guys again for watching, and as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.